Hello everyone. In this machine learning tutorial I show you how to forecast time series with Python, using Sara Max Auto Regression model. We will use data from official Eurostat website. Economy and Finance. Prices. Harmonized Index of Consumer Prices HICP indicate inflation among European counties, is calculated using same methodology, time series start from 1996. Download file. Import pandas. Numpy. Matplotlib. And Plotly libraries. Read downloaded file. File has 228 entries. Data type of column time is object. Other entries are float. We need to change time as a day time and set as an index. Plot HICP index for countries with Plitly. We see in time inflation change similarly. Strong correlation between countries. Import stat models. Make seasonal decompose. It splits data into four parts. Observed. Trend. Seasonal Residual Seasonal graph changes in constant sequence. Seasonality is main factor when choosing model. Where graph doesn't show any seasonality, we use Arima, and otherwise use, Saramax model. Import Auto Arima model. This model find the best order and seasonal points that we later on fit into the model. and complete. AIC finds the best value. With the lowest AIC value points you can get the best forecasting accuracy. Activate SARA Max model, and copy order and seasonal order points of the best AIC and fit the model. P greater Z value is the best as it's close to zero. In our case summary has shown zero values. That means that OOR find the best models and we may come with good forecasting accuracy. Blob diagnostics proves the best results. Activate get forecast method and set it for 3 years. Get confidence intervals of forecast. Plot shows observed, actual, values and forecasted. Show upper and lower values of forecast. Actual values will be somewhere in between those two numbers. Load forecast. Plot forecast. Load actual data, that we can compare with forecasted. Set time to data time format, and as an index. Concatenate two table. One with actual and other with forecasted data and calculate the difference. We see that actual index values just slightly differs from forecasted. We come up with outstanding results, less than 1% difference. Calculate forecasted index average. Calculate actual previous year index average. And we have predicted and calculated annual average inflation of European Union member states for year 2019. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more tutorials.